I started streaming on both Twitch and YouTube this week, and to be honest, I'd avoided it for quite a while because I was worried about it being difficult to set up, and it turns out it's super, 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 super easy, so I'm gonna show you how if you're also just like me. Let's just dive right in, okay? So I use Restream for multi-streaming. So the first step is super simple, it's just create an account, which you can either, you know, create one with your email or just connect it to your Google account, which is easy peasy, and then once you've done that, you'll get taken to this screen where to be honest, for me, when I first saw this screen, I was like, oh no, I'm not paying. Um, <laughs> but don't worry, you don't have to pay, okay? It just looks like you, you have to pay. These are the upgrades. If you want all of these extra things, you can just close that and you'll be here on the dashboard and it's all good. So from here, we want to connect it to our streaming software. So in my case, I use OBS and I hope you do too. Yeah, we'll end up on this dashboard this is the main dashboard that you'll be using for restream and we need to connect this to your channel okay so adding twitch is really simple we just you know add and then pick twitch authorize the connection and voila okay and then with youtube basically if you stream on youtube typically you'll have waiting rooms so you'll want to connect it to what's called an event instead so here we've clicked youtube we've clicked authorize and we're just going to pick a waiting room so for this case it's my sons of the forest collab which is in a few hours haha <laughs> okay the next step is to to just double check the titles so for the youtube one it should have picked up what like all the titles are and stuff from your waiting room the twitch one you may need to change so you can just do that very simply just change the title change the game and then now we need to do the connection to obs and obs we simply go to settings we go to our stream settings and then from here select restream.io and you can either get the stream key which was shown earlier on the dashboard to copy and paste or you can connect the account via logging in the other thing i'd recommend doing before multi-streaming is setting up your chat so if you're a youtube streamer like me and you need a twitch chat nice and fast they actually have um a few options they actually have a few options here on the dashboard so if you go into here you can see they have a special one where it's just Twitch because Twitch do have a rule where if you're multi-streaming you can't combine the chat boxes, okay? So here you can have like some themed chat boxes as well, which I think is really cool. They've got like Minecraft, League of Legends, Fortnite, etc. So you can pick one of those if you want or, you know, do whatever chat box you need. Important side note, even though you can't have a combined chat box on screen, you can have one for you to view here in the dashboard. So down here you can choose whether you want to just look at the YouTube chat or the Twitch chat, but if you select Restream you can view both. Which is very helpful. From here, you should all be set up and you just click start streaming and it'll start streaming on both YouTube and Twitch. Easy, right? Yeah! I hope this helped. Um, yeah. <laughs>